Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the definitions of even and odd signals. Definition. Even and odd signals. First, let us look at the even signals. A signal x of t is defined as even signal if it is equal to its reflection. That is, for continuous signals if the signal x of t is equal to its reflection x of minus t then then x of t is an even signal that is the signal x of t has a structure such that the values of the signal on the right hand side of the y axis or x of t axis basically match the values on the left hand side. So, the values here are always equal to the values on the right side that is an even signal. Similarly, for discrete signals x of n is equal to x of minus n this is for discrete signals. So, here x of n is an even signal, even discrete signal. Now, let us look at odd signals. For continuous signals, x of minus t is equal to negative of the original signal. So, in this case, x of t is an odd signal. This is an odd signal. that is we have a shape something like this x of t and this is the time axis. So, here the value is always equal to negative of the values on the left side of t equal to 0. For discrete signals x of minus n is equal to minus x of n. This is a odd discrete signal. Now, for any signal x of t, that is, a signal, uh, here the signal x of t can be an even signal or an odd signal or can be neither. However, it can be written as sum of an even signal plus an odd signal where the even signal is written as the average of the signal and its reflection and the odd signal is defined as the one half of the difference between the original signal and its reflection. So, here irrespective of whether x of t is an even signal or odd signal or any other signal which is not neither even nor odd, this combination is always a even an even signal and this difference, half of this difference is always an odd signal and we can easily see that when you add these two signals, we get the original signal back and in this and in the special case where note that and in, and in the special case when x of t is even then clearly the even component of x of t is always equal to the original signal itself and the odd component should be clearly 0 and for x of t uh, when x of t is an odd signal then the even component should be clearly 0 and the odd component x of t should be equal to the original signal x of t. This is true because for even signals x of minus t is equal to x of t and this becomes the even function becomes the even signal becomes x of t and in the case of odd signals x of minus t can be replaced by minus of x of t which in turn becomes the, the half of this difference becomes x of t therefore odd function odd component of x of t when x of t is odd is e equal to itself. Now let us look at some simulations that depict these even and odd signals. So first one is a plot of cosine signal 
and its reflection. Here we can clearly see that the blue line is the original cosine signal and the red dots depict the cos of negative of time that is cos of mi uh, minus of this uh, time vector. So, here clearly the cos and its reflection or the cos signal and its reflection are clearly equal to each other. This is true because the cosine signal is an even signal. Let us look at some more examples. This is another example of even functions where we have sin square and sin of minus t square. Here even though we have a reflection of the sine function, the squaring of the signal makes it even. And now let us look at an odd function. We know that sine function is an odd function. That is, blue the blue curve basically represents the original signal. And the reflection is re denoted by the red dots. So clearly, the reflection is the exact negative of the original signal or negative inverse of the original signal. So some other examples of even signals are t power 2, t power 4 or any other powers where the power is an even number, is an even number. These are all even signals. And for cases where we have t power 1, t power 3 or t power 5, that is any power with any signal which has a odd numbered power is an example of an odd signal. To summarize, even signals basically are equal to their reflections and odd signals are negative of their reflection. Thanks for watching.